Good morning everybody, Dubs Hill here. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas. Hope you had an excellent Christmas. I know mine was good, nice and chill, just the way I like it. A little bit expensive, but you can't take it with you. Um, so I wish you all the best. Just firstly, just wanna get it out of the way. I've just hit the 1K subscribers mark on YouTube after only four months. So I show nothing but massive, massive amounts of gratitude to each and every one of you that follow me, that lock into my content and hit the red button. I can assure you there's plenty more um, personal opinions on work ethic, etc., coming your way in 2020, so keep it locked. Anyway, just a quick video. I posted something on my Facebook the other day about the typical New Year's resolution, expressing my own opinion, as always. I don't personally believe in them. Um, I have the mindset and the opinion that what fucking day of the year does it matter if you want change or you want to be successful, you want to do something with your life, then why, why do people feel the need to pick the 1st of January? I do get some people's comments, um, although they're a little bit negative, but great. I, I love the fact that people interact, so thank you very much for inter interacting with your own opinion. Yes, I do agree with you that some people use it as a fresh start in order to make a change or do something different with their life because it's the first day of the year. But it's the same really as, for me it's like when people say I'm gonna quit smoking, but it's Friday, but I'm gonna wait till what, Monday and get the weekend out of the way. It's, you know, what are you waiting for? You know, I have very strong views that if you wanna make change or you wanna rebuild your life or build something in your life or make progress, then for me, using the 1st of January or you New Year's resolution, just another prime example that you're waiting, that you're waiting for something or you wanna put it off for another day, if that makes sense. So again, this is just my opinion. Um, some people don't like them, which is great because you can't please everybody and I don't, I don't intend to try and please everybody. Um, but yeah, for me, it's just an example of putting something off for another day. You know, if you wanna be a success, or most of all, if you wanna be happy or make change in your life, then putting things off to another day, I'll say I'll start tomorrow, I'll start next week, I'll start next month. Again, it's just putting it off. And I don't understand why people do that. It's almost, I do understand. I understand that the reason people put things off to tomorrow is because they wanna have one final conversation with themselves that it's the right decision to make or the right thing to do. Again, those come from limitations and low self-confidence, low self-esteem. And again, you're, the more time you spend having a conversation with yourself, the more time you spend thinking about it, the, the, the bigger the chances are that you're gonna put it off for even longer and you're probably not ever even going to do it. Myself, I am very impulsive in decision-making that if I wanna do something, I wanna go somewhere, I want to buy something like a car for instance you know I say oh you know I'm bored with this car I want a new car and within two days I've bought another one be an impulsive decision to make and it may be wrong and I may regret it but it's all about taking these opportunities and making most of these opportunities today right now without really thinking about it and just getting on and doing it at the end of the day there's nothing wrong with things going wrong because we learn from it. There's nothing wrong with failing because we learn from it and we can go back to the drawing board and then we can attack it more efficiently with more knowledge. So yeah, not going on a tangent off the subject or the resolutions, but it's I look at the bigger picture for this that again, it's putting something off for another day because you almost need um, some kind of reconciliation from other people, mainly yourself, that that day is the right day to start it. So I just, my bit of advice is it's great and I do get the whole New Year's resolution because people say it's the first day of a new year so I'm gonna start afresh. Why not make today the first day of your year? Irrelevant of what day of the week it is or what the actual date is of the year, just make today that first day of change and start today and then continue and grow and most of all be happy. Like I always say in my videos, if you wanna make change or you wanna be happy, it has to start come from here, it has to start from yourself. So don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about other people's opinions that, you know, you're gonna ask people questions, you know, I wanna do this in the new year, what should I do? You know, I had this conversation with a good friend of mine yesterday um, about, you know, doing more with videography and his filmmaking and edit, editing and stuff. And I just gave him a branch there and then on the phone and just said to him, look, I have a media company. I'm more than happy for you to get involved and collaborate. There's half the business, it's all yours. Let's work together, let's just do it. 
you know, and fair play to him, he didn't go away and say, oh, you know, it's a big decision, blah, blah. He went, mate, I'm so glad I got in, on, in touch with you. You know, in the end of the day, I've just given him that um, because that's the way I am. You know, I don't try and sell things to people. I don't try and make money off people. I, I believe in, you know, in kindness and giving things to other people in order to help yourself succeed and then succeed. And at the end of the day, the more people that are involved, you know, in something, the more ideas we're gonna bounce off and the more success we're gonna have. So I wish you a great 2020. And for those of you that are making New Year's resolutions, good luck to you. I'm not putting a downer on it. I just hope you stick to it. And that is my, my only thing, that people start New Year's resolutions and they don't stick to it. They don't give it enough, enough graft, enough work ethic wins. Yeah, look at the t-shirt, it's real talk. So I wish you all the best in 2020. Please, if you like my content, hit the red button, subscribe to my channel, there'll be plenty more coming next year. I wish you all the best. Love you all. Thanks for listening. Catch you soon. Real talk.